Hey everyone, welcome to Huawei Cloud Tech Talk. My name is Chong Chen. I'm Senior Distinguished Engineer in Huawei Cloud. In this session, uh, we will be deep dive into our flagship cloud native database, TorsDB. Let's begin. Let's do a level side before we start, which is a paradigm shift. If you look back in past 10 or 15 years, I believe everyone uh, agree paradigm shift is very clear. Uh, people are moving away from on-prem data center to cloud. Uh, in fact, uh, Gartner predict by 2028, uh, over 70% workload will be running in the cloud. And a uh, vast majority of workload requires some form of the database uh, management capability. The workload and paradigm shift uh, definitely impact the database technology landscape. We're actually seeing a, a paradigm shift of a cloud database too. So from initial cloud database management to cloud native database to recent uh, serverless database. In Huawei, we actually also went through the same three phase. So we started this cloud uh, database uh, services uh, seven or eight years ago, which is uh, initially, we just took the open source database, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and also our homegrown enterprise database, GaussDB deploying the cloud as the management services. In this deployment, a typical deployment is basically one master, one standby, and also um, typically a couple of replica nodes. They're running within the VM and using the remote block storage as a storage services. And then like a MySQL, right? Using the logical replication bin lock technology uh, to do the replication between the master replica and the standby. So in this overall architecture, uh, it's very suitable for the on-prem deployment, but when, when we're moving into cloud, uh, we're facing a couple of challenges. There's, uh, let's go through one by one, right? Uh, the first one is uh, waste the computer resource, because you need a dedicated standby node uh, for failover purpose. Uh, each standby and the re replica also need to uh, replay a log, uh, construct a database too, so which is consume the, the CPU resource on the compute node. A uh, second one is with the storage resource. Each database instance, master, standby, and the replica will have their own data they cannot share. The next one is like also, also like uh, there's uh, um, network resource contention. Since it is a remote cloud storage, all page flashing, which is coming from master, standby, and the replica, they all go through network and make network bandwidth become very scarce resource. And then the, since like, uh, the last one is uh, since each like a replica has a full database of data, uh, when adding a new replica, that basically requires full data copy. Uh, depends on really database size, right? Some large database, uh, let's say terabyte, may take hours when you're adding a new replica. Um, and also replication also taking time, and then this will impact the, the basically service availability, which is RTO, right? And also backup, restore is all very slow. So this is basically the challenging. We realized it's challenging uh, in back then, right? And we started a research project in, I believe, like a two, uh, 2016. Uh, it took like a, more than two years in research and also working with the product team to design the cloud native database uh, new system we call Taurus DB. Uh, there's a couple of design uh, principles right, to drive things previous like challenging. The first one is really the decouple. So we decide to uh, decouple compute and storage, and also we decide to decouple the durability and availability uh, when we actually introduce uh, this uh, basically the log style and the page style. Right? And later on in the architecture side, I'm going to cover that. Um, second the pr principle we call NDP, which is a near data processing, because the network is a scarcity resource, right? Um, we try to reduce the network traffic over the compute and storage and also between the compute too. So we try to push the I.O. heavy database operation into cloud storage to reduce the network overhead. And the next one is like uh, uh, we try to leverage in cloud storage uh, reliability, which is cross AZ, right? And also availability as much as possible. Uh, so that uh, like, uh, um, we basically do the replication in the storage instead of on the traditional compute layer or database layer. Right? Um, and the last one is also we're fully leveraging uh, the, the modern SSD, right? The append only nature, uh, reduce the disk well. 
Um, and also like the most important one is actually the database ecosystem, right? Because the, when you're moving your application workload from on-prem to cloud, the last thing you want to do is like changing your application, right? Adopt a new system. So uh, we consider that, and we actually make our services 100% uh, compatible with MySQL. You can think about it's MySQL, but it's a better one. And now here's the final architecture, right? So there's a couple of key points. First, uh, log as a database, because network is a secondary resource, right, as I speak uh, before. And also, also like system need to cross AZ. So our system follow log as a database principle. So we only ship the log across the entire system, including master to uh, storage, and from the master to re and so on. Uh, second one is keep this important is like our storage is the purpose build for cloud multi-tenant storage system. Uh, we use the pay-as-you-use mode, so you don't need to worry about the, like a traditional uh, on-prem or the, even the uh, management cloud services, the cloud database services, right? You don't have to plan the how much disk space I need, right? We actually automatically help uh, to plan for you, right? Next one is like uh, on the on the storage front. Uh, we separate the database durability and also the page read availability right, requirement. We introduce a log style and the page style as I speak uh, be be before in the architecture. So this uh, further decouple uh, will bring a more uh, stable performance compared with other major competitors. So we optimize the full stack from compute, storage, database kernel. So our database performance is better than traditional MySQL seven times. Um, this is how this work we has been published in the top conference, Sigma, right? So if you're interested, you can read a little bit more detail in there. Okay, so this next slide actually show the uh, basically a bit of detail on how we deploy in the um, single database, right? Or in single region uh, environment. It's actually three AZ deployment. Uh, we actually leveraging the storage. And we support the cross AZ um, data reliability, RPO equal to zero and also the uh, high availability RTO less than 10 seconds. We talk about like really the single uh, region deployment, right? And then how about the cloud region? Okay, so we're on top of single region deployment. Uh, we introduce a regionless DB feature, which is actually based on the physical replication technology to support a cross region disaster recovery and also near data access. So our data replication lagging is actually less than one second. So in the traditional technology, it will take seconds or even minutes. So region is DB, we actually right now uh, support a five region deployment. Uh, as we talked about, if you remember, right, the, the, our last phase of the, um, the database involvement get into the service database. The service database is the latest paradigm shift. Uh, in Huawei Cloud towards DB, we offer two modes. One is called reserve resource mode, the other one called service mode. The service mode is very suitable for customer dynamic application. If you have a very stable and static workload, you don't need to worry about that and go to this mode, right? Uh, however, if you have very dynamic, let's say peak and valley type of application, uh, service is really like a suitable for you, right? Service bring uh, lots of benefit. Uh, one is really maximize results and also reduce cost. Second one is adapting to service change, uh, reduce the business risk. Uh, last one is actually most important one is really the uh, we actually can automate uh, improve the operation. Right? You don't have to really worry about the capacity planning um, and uh, and other things. Course DB right support full stack service. So there's uh, uh, we have four different aspects right. So from the workload detection speed, uh, our instance load can be de detected and just in seconds. We are still working on to further reduce the, um, this number. Uh, for in terms of the unit or right, resource granularity, right? The memory grown we actually uh, based on the two gigabyte unit right now. Uh, so for the application stable list, um, you can think about like when service uh, database uh, uh, need to vertical grow, right? It will eventually hit a wall. So one of the challenges so when you hit a wall, where do you go, right? Um, to, to, to solve this, we actually have a technology to actually helping on the migration. So we support application transparency, uh, app migration. Um, it actually no, almost no impact to the uh, customer application. And the last one is the scale. So right now, the, the, our service offer actually support one uh, writer and the 15 read up to 1,000 virtual CPU. 
So this concludes today's talk, uh, Taurus DB Deep Dive. We hope uh, this session will actually provide valuable insight into our Taurus DB architecture, design principle, and the unique advantage. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>